another one. David Attenborough said this is one of the most unusual natural wonders of the world. That's big, because he's seen a lot. Gravity usually pulls things towards the Earth, but not at this waterfall in West Australia. It's called Horizontal Falls, and the water pours sideways. What's going on there? Hi, Renee. So, I can't quite wrap my head around this. A horizontal waterfall? Yeah, I have to say, when I first heard about it, I didn't really understand it. I had to, I think I had to look at a picture of it and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Extreme tides and two narrow gorges create this natural wonder. I guess people think that the ocean is flat and so it couldn't have a waterfall. But in this case, the ocean isn't flat because we have a tide that's moving down so quickly and water's escaping a channel. At its peak, a million litres of water gush through every second, creating the waterfall effect. The water cannot exit the channel fast enough, so you end up with a very, very turbulent, fast flow. Kimberley tides are the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. They fluctuate by a depth of 12 metres. As the tide begins falling, water is trying to rush out through this very narrow channel but it's not able to rush out as fast as the tide is falling outside of the bay. Basically, this is the story of the Kimberley in general, is that water can't get out as fast as it's trying to. And so you have waterfalls and whirlpools and all kinds of features. So I have to admit, when I first heard about the horizontal falls, I wondered if maybe they defied gravity or something. No, it definitely obeys the laws of gravity, <laughs> like everything on the Earth. It definitely is obeying the laws of gravity. In fact, it's gravity that makes the tides do what they do. And for that, we rely on outer space. So the gravity of the sun and the moon is causing the water in the oceans to basically bulge out towards the sun and the moon because they have small gravitational pull. And it's enough to just pull the ocean out towards those celestial bodies. Unlike your normal waterfall that swells after heavy rain, these falls are strongest when solar and lunar calendars align. So spring tides happen uh, twice every month. So when the sun, the moon and the earth are all in one line, this happens at the full moon and the new moon, those gravitational bulges are all aligned. And so the tide is very big. It's like adding the sun and the moon um, bulges together, so we get a spring tide. When the tides are right, tourists come to experience the incredible force. Hi, Gabby. So, what does it feel like to cross them? It's like a roller coaster. It really is. It's like going through a washing machine. At peak tides, the torrent generates whirlpools deep enough to swallow a dinghy. So, the speed and the power of the water does make it, you know, a little bit dangerous, and, and why we do have to time it with the tide so that it is still going to be safe for us to go through. Say someone went overboard, they would get um, sucked down and spat out. I've heard of at least one fatality, a little recreational boat um, with people that just didn't understand how dangerous it can, can be to go through if you don't know what you're doing. I think everyone is a bit more aware now of, of how crazy driving through the falls really is. 